In this video, we will walk through a short example of how the aggregate command is used to compute summary statistics on data frames. Aggregate statistics are calculated by splitting the rows of a data frame by each factor in a given column into subsets and then computing summary statistics for each of these subsets. We'll begin by constructing a data frame with housing data as follows. The first column has the number of bedrooms. As so we can see from this, the number of bedrooms can be either 2, 3, or 4. The second column has the area in square feet, and the third is the price. So we put this together into a data frame, which looks like this. The aggregate command works by looking at distinct factors or levels in a given column. So if we look at the bedrooms column, as we saw before, there are three levels, 2, 3, and 4. Now I can see this as well if I convert the bedrooms data series from our data frame into a set. So this will collapse it down to our three distinct levels. So when we are computing these summary statistics, what we're actually looking at is we're going to be looking at summary statistics such as the mean, the median, and so on for each one of these subsets. So the two bedroom apartments, the three bedroom apartments, or the four bedroom apartments. The aggregate command is structured such that you first give it the data frame you want to look at and then the column that you want to aggregate by. So in this case, if we use the aggregate command on house sales data of bedrooms, this will return a new data frame where we're now seeing the mean price as well as the mean area for two bedroom, three bedroom, and four bedroom apartments. If we add the columns option, we can control which of the columns are returned. So in this example, we'll just return the price column. So you'll see that it's the same as what we had above, but this is just the price column. We're not returning the area column. Additionally, the tally option returns a tally for each of the factors. So we just add in tally at the end, and now we can see how many of each one of our observations belong to each one of these factor sets. So here we can see that we have four two-bedroom apartments, five three-bedroom apartments, and six four-bedroom apartments in our data. The function option allows for the specification of any command that can be applied to a data series. For example, the statistics median command computes the median for each of the factors of bedrooms. So we can see this now, we've just added in function equals statistics median, and we run this, and we can see that these values have now changed. So these are median values for the two, three, and four bedroom apartments. So you can put in whatever function you'd like here, as long as it could be applied to a data series. That's the key part of the function option. So behind the scenes, the aggregate command actually uses the statistics split by column command to create a separate sub data frame for every discrete level in the column given by this by column option. And to give you an idea what that looks like, I'm just going to run split by column here on our house sales data by bedrooms. So internally, this is what the aggregate command is looking at. It's looking at our data frame, which is now split into observations, which are two, three, and four bedrooms. Now next, I'm going to plot this. But first, I'm just going to show you very quickly how we can just filter out price from these. So I'm just going to map this function into this by rooms variable that I just created. And we can see now prices by rooms. We've got our sub data frames here for the two, three, and four bedroom apartments respectively. And if you wanted to go back and actually compute something like mean by hand, uh, you could map something like mean into this prices by rooms list and see that our means would match up to what we saw before with the aggregate command. So lastly, let me just quickly show you what this looks like in a box plot. So this is one of our most frequently used visualizations in statistics. So here we can see box plot of our room prices for two bedrooms, three bedrooms, and four bedrooms. So this is, again is another way of looking into our data. So the aggregate command it gives us this way of just easily and quickly breaking down uh, our data, looking at the uh, mean, the median, and so on. But uh, once we get down to the end here, we can actually just start visualizing this as well. So Aggregate is, is kind of a good command. It's a good fast way for you to return any one of these summary statistics. But then at the end, you also might want to take some of this out 
and, and visualize it. And then often you're going to get into some of these other commands within statistics. So this has just been a, a very short example, just a short run through looking at some uh, apartment data. And I would certainly recommend going through some of the other examples which are available for the aggregate command as well as within the data frames examples.